Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and I'm watching this job video. Today we will make this slider in material. So it has all the functionality. You can increase the height, width, length and colors and it's all working. So it's pretty simple material. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I'll right click and create a new material and slider. And I'll just right click and make an instance of this and open this and also open the instancer and on the planar we will check our effect here. So basically inside the material what you have to do actually you have to make a capsule shape like this. Uh, so basically what you have to take you have to if I take the brush or this you have to make this kind of shape which is round from both sides like this so basically if you connect these this is what I want okay so what you have to do like here we have two uh, circles and one rectangle so we will make that so if you have this radial let's make this material unlit so it will be easier to visualize and I'll just connect it here and if I make the density a little high so blurriness will go on and it will be very sharp like 50 and this radius is too big I need a very small so I'll just make a, this maybe 0.2 smaller and if I take the texture coordinate uh, one to even bigger texture coordinate and I add some value on it and connect here so it's zero so nothing will change but if I keep adding values like 0.2 it will shift in both x and y so it's from here it's shifted here but we need separate so I'll just connect this on y which is vertical I don't need anything and on x I need to offset it so basically it's now zero zero if I make it 0.2 it will offset on left if I make it minus 0.2 it will offset here on the right side okay so if you want to offset it in both sides like half circle move here and half circle here or just make it two circles that go here here you can duplicate this whole process but what you can do here you can take a texture coordinate shift C for the mask take the red channel red channel and this is just a gradient so I'll take the step and just make this 0 0.5 0 0.5 so it will give you half black half white you can also saturate it so basically this thing this radial if this is in center so it will be divided in two parts with this so we can now use lerp and connect this here and if I connect here like 0 uh, it's now 0 0 and if I uh, put values like 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.2 you will notice the circle 1 minus 0.1 I will just make it like 0.01 0.1 so it's moving both sides actually this should be negative and this should be positive you cannot put positive here negative okay so basically now you can make a parameter and you can call it this will be actually the length uh, of the the button of the slider so I'll call it length okay and this is 0.1 so I'll just make it 0.1 and this is negative so I will just multiply this with minus 1 and connect here and then just save and check it in instance so I'll just save it excuse me so now here 
you can not you notice I have this thing this looks cool now I just need a integral shape here a rectangle so for that I'll take a texture coordinate shift C and I'll take the red channel which is this then I'll subtract 0.5 and take the absolute of this so it's there now I'll take the stack make it uh, like 0.5 for now just to check or maybe 0.1 so this is the width and this width should be the same like this so I, I can connect this here but later then we have to cut it on the height so what I'll do actually you can do it like this So you have to just duplicate this now. You can take the green channel, tap again, preview, and this is height. Uh, height should be the the radius of this. So if I can, uh, let me just multiply these together. If I preview, it will be a rectangular shape. So it should be like let it be whatever it is then you can add this to these and connect here and now let's make the this this is the radius actually so this is basically the width so i will convert it to parameter width and this should be the same as the height of my rectangle and the length of the rectangle should be this and we have now two parameters let's save it and see but there's an issue these are like transparent thing but let me show you how it's working so it's working cool you can just put a saturate here and save cool now if you want an outline although you can do it here instead of a step you can use a, a, a smooth step but what you can do you can just duplicate this whole thing copy this actually and here right click go to the materials go to advanced make a function m uh, f fun material function slider open this paste this and the last node should be output and for these two parameters I'll take the input and input should be a scalar value and the name should be same and I'll just connect this here and then duplicate this paste it here this is width and it will be here and just save it And then you can just drag it into the material and let me just save all and I just need two parameters and I can delete this whole thing so basically now this width will go to width and this length uh, length go to length width go to width so you have exact same thing with just uh, this parameter so now what you can do you can duplicate this and you can subtract from the width some value and go to width and you can subtract some value from the length go here and those subtraction value will be called edge edge thickness actually so basically this will be smaller because you are subtracting some value and this is bigger so you can subtract from this to this and connect so if this edge is like 0 0.05 it will be your thickness and let me save and check it into the instance so now you can see we can increase or decrease this and it's still the length and the width is working so like it's 0 0.05 and now you need that again here a little bit smaller so what you can do 
you can again duplicate this thing and you can connect this thing again and instead of this edge I'll call this this is inside and it should be bigger than this because it should be smaller than this so I'll just connect this here and let's make this 0.8 for now and then add it here I hope you are understanding what I'm doing so it's just subtracting and making things smaller and then add again so now you can see some issue there yeah. yeah so this inside should be like it depends how much you want like this and it's width we can reduce and still it, it will work now you can make both color different like you can multiply this is your edge and make the color parameter call this edge color and let's say this is red for now and then you can multiply this thing with the parameter inside color of oh, my keyboard and let's say it's green and now it's adding and save so you can see the colors but of course I will not use the red I will use maybe gray and this one will be blue and you can also use a gradient for that that blue this one so you can use a texture coordinate 6 c for the mask so this is the mask you have which give you gradient so I can now use LERT and we have this color and you can duplicate this and make it like 2 and connect this here and save again so now you can see it's blue and greenish although you can make this purplish it depends so now you have this length and this width and if you want to like animate this like a like a power up or you want to like cut it you can also do that basically you have this you can take a uh, again this thing this channel take the step connect this with the power up uh, like uh, wipe and just connect this here and then multiply this here and I'll save it so now with this value you have this and it's still it's, it's all working so this is the basic shape this is my first tutorial I can make the series of these I can put lots of animated things here you can add this into the Niagara then you can use it so these are the all things you can do I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.